well, this is the good, bad, and the ugly. Um, so this is Wednesday, and up until this point, things have been going really wonderful. But the Lord has um, revealed another part of my healing that I completely missed. I'm laying here on my bed, and I'm doing what's called a um, an ice rub. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing an ice rub, and I wish I could sit up. But I have, but I have really bad pain. Um, it reminds me of the pain I, um, when I was in Idaho um, in the apartment. Um, I've been praying for the Lord to heal this back. For a long time and you know it's weird because I believe that the Lord um, has this cancer I, I have no doubt he's got this cancer and I am going to walk in full restoration healing you know it's so odd you take something like multiple myeloma and and, and it, that doesn't bother me I have great peace but this back yeah I've been plastering this back affliction with ibuprofen and, uh, and you know, not trusting the Lord because I'm asking the Lord to heal me and I'm still taking the ibuprofen every day. You see, how can God heal me fully and take away this back affliction when I am still relying on medicine like ibuprofen? How are you doing? Oh, good. Do you think you can get up? Uh, <laughs> I can try. I, I, all right, my coach had to come and, and get me and see if I could at least walk to the dining room, and uh, that was arduous. Um, but for this moment now, it's a little bit later in the evening, and... I really want to continue to sharing this testimony. I feel, I feel a little bit better right now. Um, I had a really bad bout um, when I tried to walk, and uh, it was not good. It was not good. But what what I was saying is, God gave me this clarity. Like suddenly, I'm like, I'm praying to the Lord and I'm asking Him to heal me, yet. Um, like today, I just realized, how can he heal me if I continue to take this ibuprofen? You know, sometimes it's read in front of us, something really simple. Like you look at me and you're like, you trust the Lord to heal your cancer. You, 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 you fully walk in that, that promise, and I do. Yet with my back, which would seem so much more simple, you know, all I'd have to do is stop taking the ibuprofen and trust him. And I didn't. Instead, I just didn't understand why he wasn't healing me. And then today, it was like the blinders came off. The Lord was showing me that he wants to heal me, but he can't do it when I am still on this poison. And ibuprofen is poison for someone like me or anybody who is on long-term copious amounts. I was taking 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams a day of ibuprofen. And when you are diagnosed with something like multiple myeloma, uh, one of the things that, that, that progresses in that cancer is kidney failure. You gotta protect your kidneys. I had been doing ibuprofen in copious amounts at that. I had been doing ibuprofen at that high dose for almost 11 months, you know, 10 months. And today I got my labs. And you don't think I wasn't sweating a little bit? You know, it's like I'm not even worried about the cancer labs. I was worried about my kidney and my liver function. And by the grace of God, he gave me a pass because my kidneys are fine and so is my liver. Uh, even the doctor, she couldn't believe it. She's like, your labs look great. 
She says they look great. And in fact, my anemia is cleared up too. I just have some uh, neutropenia. But that's God, you know, giving me that pass and saying, you know, I want to hear you. I hear your prayer. You got to trust me. And I began to realize that I was putting my trust in the ibuprofen. And I had changed my prayer too. I had changed my prayer and I had prayed for the Lord to help me get off of it. Well, I think I was, I was still walking a little bit too much in my own strength because I just found that I couldn't. And I actually couldn't even lay it at the foot of the cross by myself until I got here and now today, today. So what ended up happening is when I saw the doctor uh, last week when I first arrived, that's, you know, she said right away, you gotta get off the ibuprofen, we're gonna start you on some supplements. And the supplements I didn't get right away and I just started them like three days ago. And isn't that funny, three days ago I ran out of my last ibuprofen. So I woke up last night in the middle of the night with this pain. And again, just like it was in the apartment, it was horrific. And it didn't go away. And so when I, when I walked down the hall and with tears in my eyes this morning and went to see the doctor, she couldn't believe, she couldn't believe it. She's like, you are bad. And she, she felt horrible. But we started working on a plan. And the focus was God was going to give us the knowledge. He was going to guide the direction of how to treat this pain. It was, it was, you know, we, the plaster had been removed from my body and now I'm waking up. And of course I'm suffering because of it. You know, in this book here, and I got to read this to you because he brought this to me just a mere two days ago. And I think he was, you know, the Lord gives us, he gives us knowledge. He gives us clarity. He gives us things so that when they happen, we're prepared. And I know now looking at this that he was actually giving me something to prepare me for today. And when I read about people need to be taught that drugs do not cure disease, which I believed as a nurse for all these years. It also went on to say, but in most cases, the drug only changes the form and location of the disease. Often the, def uh, the effect of the poison seems to be overcome for a time, but the results remain in the system and work great harm at some later period. It's coming back. And now I read that and I realize what I've been doing with the ibuprofen. It's a drug. It's a poison to my body. It doesn't heal me. It doesn't cure what I have. Actually, what it ended up doing is um, remaining, having my pain and, and my, you know, everything that's going on with my back, all it did was mask it. And it gave it relief until some later date, which is today, where it was removed. And now I'm unfortunately suffering the effects of what I have done with that ibuprofen. But you know, God is good, right? He's good. And this was a promise. I looked at this and I'm like, the Lord knows and he's got it. I mean, this was proof enough that he's got it. And just the prayers that um, have surrounded me today and uplifted me and the constant people coming in and helping me. And I, I mean, it's been all day, all day. And look, I got, those are real. I came in after my doctor's appointment, my bed was made. I had flowers waiting for me. Um, they, they whisked me off to hydrotherapy, uh, they ordered ice rubs, and even the doctor of the facility came in, and, and her husband had just passed away, he was like 91 years old, and she brought um, another supplement that she really believed that, that could help, and she talked to me about the cancer and some other things that I could treat, you know, treat it with, and we talked greatly about some of the things that I'm on that helps fight cancer. Wonderful, wonderful, and we prayed. Pray, 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 pray. And then my counselor came in and we, we unraveled more onion layers. And you know, the more those onion layers were peeled back, the more healing 
that is taking place. And that helps. That helps too. Because it is body, mind, and spirit. You know, we cannot separate ourselves from our emotions and our spiritual being and our physical and emotions. We, can, we can't, we have to treat the whole package. And, I, and the, the whole package is being treated. So it was a beautiful day despite the pain. And I wanted to share this with all of you because I'm going to share um, the things that they're, they're, they're implementing to treat my pain. There's a lot of you that have pain. A lot of you who are on ibuprofen, naproxen, Tylenol, eating it like candy, like me. Some of you are on opiates. And these only mask the symptoms. We can heal. We can heal. Um, there's a formula to it, really. But it's God's plan and God's formula. And the cure isn't in the drugs. And I'm learning a lot as my faith gets stronger and he gives me so much more clarity. It's amazing. So, okay, I'm glad I could finish up feeling a little bit good here. Um, like, like right now I have no pain just laying like this. I get up ugh, kind of back to the apartment days, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm glad I can grab my camera and continue to share this journey.